Hi everyone, this is Louisa, the Eat Right Chef. Today I want to talk to you about sugar and some practical ways to wean off of it. As some of you might have read in scientific literature that sugar is one of the most addictive substances there is, and in fact I've seen a picture of um, a scan uh, image of the brain and it shows that the part of the brain that's activated when we have eaten sugar is the same part that is activated when people take cocaine so it's the um, area in the brain that gets this high from eating sugar and it, it's um, it triggers an addictive reaction and um, today, you know, the majority of processed food contains some form of sugar in it. And it is the best way to keep people going back and buy more and more and eat more and more. And this in turn leads to uh, the epidemic of obesity without people actually being aware of it. Well, what I want to really talk about today is some practical ways of weaning off of sugar. And I will just take myself as an example because I have been such a sweet tooth all my life. And um, yes, one of the things I, uh, that sugar contributes to is cancer. Now, while I um, didn't have cancer, I had developed a huge tumor, several huge tumors inside me, and uh, I realized that sugar had a lot to do with it. And my diet in the past, before I switched to the blood type diet, was mainly consisted of um, a lot of pastry, bread, cakes, noodles, pasta, you know, all these starchy things that also contain sugar, as well as uh, drinks like coffee that, you know, contain sugar. And I thought that uh, putting brown sugar in it was okay, that brown sugar was, you know, um, healthier, but it's not. It's doing the same thing to your body as white sugar. Uh, well, except it may be a little, a little bit more natural, but you know, um, the effect of cane sugar and other forms of sugar that I wasn't aware of, like especially high fructose corn syrup, which is in a lot of processed food, as well as uh, soda pop. Anyway, so that way of eating was feeding to my tumor um, big time. And um, when I realized what happened to my body, I stopped eating eating sugar. It was very very hard because sugar can be found in so many processed foods so I had to change my diet completely and I started to cook for myself um, everything that I ate and um, gradually I was able to get rid of most processed food in my diet. Now um, when it comes to sweet stuff, well, there is one thing that has been the most difficult for me to wean off of, which is chocolate. And it, it has been something that I've allowed myself to eat. Um, as um, in, you know, um, Dr. Peter Diadamo's book, Eat Right for Your Type, he did mention uh, eating dark chocolate is okay and um, moderately, you know, within um, the portion that's allowed. And um, so I have been eating um, about, you know, 75%, 80% dark chocolate, and it has served me well because it fulfilled my need for some dessert, but it's still beneficial. The cacao is beneficial. Uh, for me and for most types actually. Now um, the problem starts when um, I 
would go to my chocolate bars at times of stress or um, when I am, you know, eating it um, because of um, loneliness or uh, problems in relationships or in other areas of my life. It's kind of like an emotional eating. It's my comfort food. So I go to it and because of the sugar content in it, once I start, I would keep on eating it, you know, um, until maybe half a bar is finished. And uh, some of you may experience this and may find it difficult to put down the bar and uh, you may eat until the whole bar is gone. Uh, this is not uncommon. So um, one way uh, for me to try to control myself is to really slow down and ask myself what is it that I'm craving for, that I'm compensating um, my need by eating this chocolate bar. So doing some deep breathing and really leaning into that emotion that is affecting me at the time and doing something that distracts me helps. But um, as long as the bar is there, it's, you know, very easy to go to it. So recently, I have decided that I don't want to have any chocolate bars with sugar in it, even if it's dark chocolate. Okay, so I have um, consciously tried to look for 100% chocolate. They are not difficult, they're not easy to find, but you know, um, I found them and uh, you might find different brands in your supermarket, uh, grocery store or whatnot. I found these in my food co-op and this is a really nice 100% cacao um, artisan chocolate. So let me show you the inside, it's a little booklet. And I've tried it, it tastes really, really nice and um, rich. And then here's another one, 100% cacao from Ecuador. And then there's a 99% chocolate here. This is kind of hard and uh, it's actually for baking, but you know, you can chew on this and uh, it gives you a kick. Uh, there is caffeine in chocolate, so I suggest that if you don't want to have trouble sleeping, then try not to eat it late at night. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is one way for me to wean off of sugary uh, sweet chocolate. And uh, it seems to work because for 100% dark chocolate, I actually can't eat that much, you know, it, it kind of satisfies me. And um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that some, sometimes when you crave chocolate, it's probably because your body is lacking in magnesium and chocolate has magnesium in it. And magnesium is actually, uh, it's a mineral that's responsible for so many different hundreds of, um, you know, um, actions, uh, enzyme uh, reactions in our body. So it's very, very important. And, um, you know, maybe taking a bath with Epsom, Epsom salt would help in that aspect. You can try that as well. And just one more thing before I sign off. Um, there are chocolate mm, bars that say, you know, it's sugar-free. So recently I, um, order something as an experiment you know it's, it's a skinny me belgian chocolate squares no sugar and when i receive that uh it's they are very tricky because they you know this company does not list clearly the ingredients <laughs> in the product and i found that it contains dextrin 
and acetyl okay any kind of um, alcohol uh, from sugar and the dextrin is from corn they are not good uh, dextrin you know anything derived from corn is inflammatory so avoid those so i have not touched those since i received them <laughs> anyway uh so here are some tips and um the the idea is to you know if you want to get out of a habit do it gradually and uh work with different aspects the psychology and the new nutritional deficiency as well as a strategy to replace what you've been addicted to with something else that gives you a similar mouthfeel or satisfaction but does not contain the harmful ingredient in this case the sugar so that's my tip for the day thanks for watching and if you find my videos useful please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below or you can subscribe to my newsletter to get tips and recipes for eating compliantly with your blood type for maximum health my website is www eatridewithlouisa.com and um, if you want to subscribe just type slash subscribe okay i'll see you in the next video bye